Unveiling the Oxymoron, Dull Sheen. Hello, dear viewers. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of English phrases, specifically the paradoxical phrase, Dull Sheen. This might sound contradictory at first, but by the end of this video, you'll not only understand what it means but also how to use it in your daily conversations. So, let's get started and unlock the mystery behind this intriguing phrase. Let's break down the phrase, dull sheen, on its own. Dull, refers to something that lacks brightness or luster, something that's not shiny. Sheen, on the other hand, is all about a soft, gentle, or subtle shine. When combined, dull sheen describes a surface or quality that has a shine but is not glaringly bright. It's a soft glow rather than a brilliant sparkle. Context can change the meaning of dull sheen quite a bit. In literature, a dull sheen could symbolize a hidden quality or a subdued kind of beauty. In everyday conversation, it might be used to describe materials like satin or some metals which have a gentle glow without being overly reflective. The key is to listen to the context in which it's being used to truly grasp the meaning. Now let's see, dull sheen, in action. Imagine you're describing an old coin that's been through a lot but still has some of its original luster. You might say, the coin had a dull sheen, hinting at its age and the many hands it had passed through. Or, when talking about a well-polished antique wood piece, despite its age, the wood maintained a warm dull sheen, inviting a touch of the hand. Understanding phrases like, dull sheen, enhances your English communication skills, especially in descriptive writing or speaking. It allows you to convey nuanced details and paint vivid pictures with your words, which is invaluable in storytelling, poetry, and everyday conversation. And there you have it, the glow of knowledge on the phrase, dull sheen. It's a wonderful example of how English can use seemingly contradictory words to express a single, nuanced idea. We hope you enjoyed this linguistic journey and that you're now a little more prepared to add some subtle luster to your English vocabulary. Until our next video, keep learning and shining, even if it's with a dull sheen.